All right, um, this is another video. So say you're, uh, you have a, a oil leak, and this is a 2008 Acura TL Type S. You have a Honda of sorts or whatever you have. Uh, you have an oil leak from the passenger side wheel well or some area off the, the right side of the engine. Um, there's a lot of components that live on the right side of the engine. Um, like for instance, um, that right there, let's see, can you see the laser? Right there, that's your oil pan. The laser is pointing on right now. Um, so you could have like oil leaking from, um, line is in the way, but right there is a, where the oil pan, um, you can see. There we go. Right there is where the oil pan meets the um, the upper housing. So I mean, oil could be leaking from there. It could be your VTEC solenoid or something. Um, we got a laser on there. But basically, if you're gonna do like um, water pump, um, like crankshaft seals. Uh, like pulleys and stuff, um, tensioners, and you're gonna you're gonna get in the guts of this engine because you have a leak and you want to pinpoint it and you want to replace some seals because um, basically you'll be doing a, a pretty much a kit. You could buy it as a kit, um, water pump kit, I believe that's what it's called. But basically, if you're getting that here, so the the gist of this video I'm trying to to get at is this this bolt right here. Um, there's two, there's pretty much two infamous, um, bolts and screws on Honda Accords or Hondas, not just Accords, Acura's, just Honda's periods, Honda period, um, that are infamous that give people a lot of trouble, a lot of headache. But basically if you're going to chase down an oil leak and you're going to be taking off components on the right side of the engine compartment, start with this bolt. Make sure you can get this bolt off before you remove anything from up top that you can access. Because um, if you gotta go beyond this bolt and you can't get this off, all that work will be for nothing. Ask me home and know, because I did that. I started taking off uh, engine mounts, um, ground wires, uh, timing belt covers, um, you know, get an engine top dead center, all that stuff, and then realize I couldn't get this bolt off this bolt right here i think this is like torque to like 260 foot pounds plus an additional 60 degrees um so it's a lot and this stuff gets rusted corroded so say you have that issue going on and you know say you're gonna do it yourself how you gonna tackle that problem there well first you need to prepare prepare yourself say you might cost enough <laughs> you might get frustrated you might leave the job right yeah of course enough um how do you prepare yourself for the job how do i how do you set yourself up for success i'm gonna see a lot of people do it and there's a method to taking it off there's different tools and stuff i'm gonna show you two of them but maybe give you other techniques that i came across um obviously there's a special honda tool crank shaft tool you put in there and it holds it from, holds it from spinning and then you can wedge you can wedge like a breaker bar or something in the lower control arm there. Um, the lower suspension portion down here. Um, you can wedge it in there for stuff from turning on stuff. But what I did, I went out and got uh, the Milwaukee um, half inch. It's like 1400 foot pounds of breakaway torque is what I advertise it at. And this is no means endorsing that. I mean, have a good impact ear or, or battery operated one. Have a good half inch impact because this thing needs that force. Uh, what you need to to um, complement your, your impact gun, um, first of all, use some good penetrating fluid. I use a PB blaster. I think that's a yeah, PB blaster. Soak it overnight. Like 
spray it on it, let it sit overnight, let it soak in it. Um, you could take, if you're gonna use reuse your belt, your um, accessory belt, I mean, you could take it off so you don't get any type of fluid on it or anything. Um, but if you're not gonna reuse it, then I mean, you probably don't care. Um, and I, if I'm gonna go that far, I would replace that also, regardless of how good it is. Um, but anyway, soak it with some penetrating fluid. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is no means an endorsement. I'm just talking from experience. Um, right here. Let's see if I can hold it so I don't cover up anything. Soak it overnight with some um, penetrating fluid. Um, so I use that. And then when it comes down to the day where I would actually get on it and remove it. I recommend getting some map gas. Obviously, I don't have the, the torch attached to it, but get some map gas. I have this, I literally got this at, at Home Depot. Um, and I got it for this said reason right here. So that very said reason, because I was frustrated after doing all that work up top, realized I can't even get past this. Like I was frustrated. So this, Boom, you get that, and you you heat up this bolt. You, you you put the torch on it for about a minute when you have the gun and everything ready for the take off. You heat up it for about a minute, um, right? And then, so you got you have your, your big half inch. Um, I mean, I have the Milwaukee. I don't want to. I don't want to break it out right now because I have a. Uh, I have other, it's in a bunch of stuff. So, but pretend. Pretend that this uh, DeWalt right here is your, is your big, big half inch gun. I mean, this might work, who knows? Now, this is a half inch gun, but I, I doubt it would work. I'm not gonna try it right now because I'm gonna really need to take coffee. Um, this socket right here, I don't know how much this thing weigh, but this compared to a traditional, like you see, this is not a normal socket. It's very big, it has a lot of mass to it. And this in conjunction with your, your, your high torque um, impact, half inch impact, along with soaking it overnight, along with using some um, heat on it for like a minute. I mean, you don't wanna heat it up too much because there's a seal behind it. You don't wanna, you don't wanna damage it for, you don't wanna damage stuff unless you can't get to it. So about a minute of heat, I would recommend. Um, but this, I got it online. It's very big compared to another 19 millimeter. Well, something that I found also was this Ingersoll ran, they call it a power socket, right? This is a 19 millimeter. I mean, and yeah, that bolt is a 19 millimeter. It has these wings on it. Let's see if I can show you the wing them. See it has those wings on it that give it additional rotational force um, from what I gather. And apparently this, this supposedly double the the impact or the rotational force just by having those wings. So this, this is like a standard 19 millimeter, but it had these wings on it. Whereas this is just a lot of mass. So either one work, I think, I think, um, I think if you have the a solid impact gun, ear or, or battery operated, and you definitely soak it overnight with uh, some kind of penetrating fluid. Um, and again, I'm not endorsing any of these items specifically. I'm just giving you ideas. Um, 
and then you use you use your heat panny. Yo, in that's not a chance, it'll come off and it's gonna make your life easier. When we did that for the first time, it took me a day and a half to get it off. Remember, I'm gonna tell you, a day and a half. And I was so frustrated. So frustrated. So, that's the Honda crankshaft bolt. One of the most frustrating things on a Honda to get off. But guess what? You know, if you get frustrating, you just have to have the proper tool to get off. As you can see, I'm missing that that shield right here. So I'm going to get it replaced because um, I don't know where it gone. It just disappeared too. So I need to get it replaced. But God, like me say, I like keeping things original. Um, uh, let's see. What else? The next one that I'm going to talk about um, in another video is the how to remove is the um, rotor screws them. As I mentioned before in a different video, I like keeping stuff that came with the car on the car. Rotor screws aren't relevant, but them they came with the car, so I like keeping them. So yeah, crankshaft bolt, soak it with some penetrating fluid. Um, the DF or when you're ready for it, use the, the heat. The, the little torch panel, and just be mindful of any flames or anything. Fire, have one fire extinguisher readily available. Or something and it should not easy that long um, get a good impact gun and then you I have the tool but me not gonna break out it right now the Honda crankshaft tool um, let me know if you don't want to see it we can break out it and show you know. um, but like I said these two sockets this um you can get this on Amazon like $20 or something and this one is actually a lot more expensive um, this Ingersoll ran, but apparently it doubles the force just by having those wings on it. So, just a suggestion if you're gonna do Honda crank, if you wanna remove the Honda crank bolt to remove to get to any of that servicing component, because basically you need to remove that to get to the water pump, the timing covers, the lower timing covers, um, the crankshaft seal, you know, like. Basically, if you're gonna if you have an oil leak on there, so you might as well go all out and start replace everything because there's so much work to remove components and stuff that you might as well replace every part that would be leaking or worn out in there um, and get the next couple thousand miles out of it. But anyway, I just that me a tabo still. Anyway, boom, that's the nothing.